Hey you guys, it's me, Manny here. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry for not doing the videos every week, like I said before, but like a lot of things have been going on and school, you know. But I'm gonna try to do it once a week. So, week before school started, which was two weeks ago, I went to Florida with my family. I posted a few pictures and a few posts. Um, I don't really like enjoy, don't really like uh, hanging out with my family. So I tried to make the most of it, which was pretty fine. I got a lot of clothing, so that was great. Um, but that was it pretty much. My first year of school, all classes, great psychology, AP, biology, calculus, English, band, jazz, early release, uh, marching season, it's, it's great. Um, my teachers, I love them all. I think they have a great senior year. But it didn't really hit me until yesterday when I had to take my senior pictures and when I was in my gown and my cap and my diploma. That kind of hit me that this is my year. And I really want to make the most of it. I don't want to have anything tying me down. I don't want anything to affect it. And if that means I'm having a relationship, just being scared that it might go bad, then so be it. I don't want nothing to ruin my senior year. Um, but yeah. Uh, other than that, I've been reading this book, and it's called Openly Straight. This is how it looks like. And it's by Bill Conningsberg, a guy at Barnes & Nobles. And it's made me think a lot. It's about this guy who has been openly straight in this one school, and life has been great. But like most people, he has been categorized as the gay kid, not just himself and that puts up a lot of barriers a lot of limits especially when he wants to interact with other boys so he goes to his all boarding school where he kind of goes back in the closet just he just doesn't tell people that he's gay and it turns out well for a while until he falls in love with a guy but the guy uh, is really gonna get closer and closer and closer and then the other guy the straight guy starts developing feelings for him but he believes that they're both experimenting and going through a phase that he finally realizes that the other guy has known he was gay and has been lying to him so it was all on his own finding himself and sadly in the end the straight guy stays straight he gets he gets mad and doesn't forgive the other guy I mean he forgives him but he says they won't they can't be more of their friends and it sucks because the other guy the gay guy really fell in love with him and so did the straight guy um, which sucks because of labels. He had to label himself gay or straight. He had to choose is that things enough that I will be gay or straight or bi or something. And it sucks because labels don't define us. I personally believe that everyone's born pansexual. Yes, your body will have more hormones for one gender than the other. Mentally, you will think of yourself more female, that you wouldn't like males or females, but if it gets to the point, if you meet someone and you love their personality and you love how they make you feel, I honestly believe if we didn't have to have that label and try to live within that label, I believe anyone can fall in love with anyone, sexually or not sexually. And it saddens me because this isn't the first time I've read gay falls in love with the straight and in the end it doesn't turn out well for the gay guy and I've never been in that situation thank god because I don't think I'll be able to just read that makes me sad and depressed in the whole mood tonight and for any, anyone out there who has had that experience I honestly like, I, I'm sorry because I I wouldn't be able to handle it because it's something like impending doom you can kind of help it but you can't can't really you just fall in love with someone and it sucks because the other person might feel the same way towards you but because of society they have to label themselves as something and maybe because you're just the only person they feel attracted to they won't consider that opportunity and experimenting and it just I feel it's horrible because your heart will be shattered and I just really hope I don't fall in love with a straight guy um which brings me to the point, uh, you know, all of y'all have known my situation with my ex. 
and it's been a year and a half that we've been together and it's been almost two months since we've been separated and part of me wants to date part of me is romantic part of me wants to love and care for someone but part of me feels like it's I'm not ready yet but the two guys that I've been with so far one he's a junior and he's in the closet he's slowly coming out but he's never had any experience and I've tried flirting with him and stuff and he kind of flirts back but no response and maybe because he doesn't know how but I need someone that needs to assure themselves and the second guy he was a senior when I was a freshman so now he's a, probably three years further older than me and I hooked up with him once and afterwards he blocked me and I don't talk to him but he's in the closet as well and you know it's true for most people after a relationship the only way to grieve the only way to feel better yourself is through sex sexually with someone else and that's what I've been doing after the relationship trying to find sex trying to find someone and I really want a relationship you know everyone wants a relationship I'm just that type of guy that really wants someone, not long distance, not someone that takes effort. I want something effortless, someone that comes naturally. And I can honestly tell myself that when I last went, as much as I loved him, it was not effortless. You had to try so much, you had to force so much. And it shouldn't have been that way. And as hard as it for me to say it, you know, we shouldn't have been together. Maybe because of the long distance, maybe because we grew apart, because after a year people change. Um, you know, so I really want someone in my area, but there's no one. So I guess I'm just going to have to wait, and like other people, just wait till college. Um, but yeah, this book really, uh, really made me see that labels limit us, labels puts a barrier between other people to feel normal. And I, I feel in the same situation. I feel like I can't be the same with other straight guys because of my sexuality. And I don't know, I just pondered a lot about it. But I think that's it for today. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, if you have any suggestions for me to talk about uh, or like any help, topics, uh, advice, just hit me up. I'm going to make a YouTube account so I don't have to do the five minute. Uh, time range with Tumblr because it's it's dumb. I'm not going to do anything in five minutes. Like this is going to be eight minutes. So thanks for watching. You're watching and hopefully I'll make a video soon. Alright. Bye.